Dubbed TZ Sign Language, the edutainment games target children in lower grades. They aim to teach them the basics of sign language through fun and interactive games. The hearing impaired community in Kenya is substantial. There's about 600,000 people who have some form of hearing impairment in, in Kenya and 32 million children worldwide. And what's interesting is that in Africa, the percentage of people who have hearing impairment is actually five times as high uh, as in developed countries. And so we think that it's a real interesting challenge for these people to exist within society. And we wanted to uh, create a, a solution to help them. Uh, and by teaching the rest of the community KSL or, or Kenya Sign Language, uh, it opens up greater communication channels for these people. The sign language game includes a set of mini games to teach the alphabet and numbers. The games include snap, pairs, guess signs and reigning characters. For the snap game, a player is assigned a number. Different signs will change randomly and rapidly on the screen. The player has to hit the buzzer when the character appears. In the pairs game, players click to flip the face down cards on the screen finding pairs of letters and signs. In the guess the signs game, a player has to guess the letter or number of the sign that appears from the multiple choice answers available. Kenya is transitioning from the 844 education system to the new CBC education system, also known as the competency-based curriculum. And in this situation, the country education system is trying to amalgamate this game to make sure students can be able to communicate with the counterparts who have hearing impairments. By introducing gaming into the classroom, it makes the educational content more fun, more interactive, but also more accessible to everyone. Um, and so that's a big part of our motivation. According to the World Health Organization statistics, over 5% of the world's population have a disabling hearing loss. That's 328 million adults and 32 million children. The majority of people with disabling hearing loss live in low- and middle-income countries. Meresha Witi, a sign language expert and interpreter, insists that sign language relies more on visual aspects and innovation is the best way to learn faster. Sign language is a language like any other language. The only difference that it need, it has, it's a few things like it, you must have light, it's a contact, eye-to-eye -eye contact, and it's a physical thing. That is the only difference but every other thing all the properties of a language sign language has every other thing culture and all that it has so it is not it is just like learning another language now depending on your interest you see if you are living somewhere you have an interest you learn the language some do it in one month it is possible with sign language some do it in six months some do it in three months but it's just like a language like any other and you can learn it in the shortest time with interest. Usiku Games is harnessing the power of electronic games to create joy and a positive social impact for users in the communities across Africa. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.